Please keep it going with your mom. Funny as hell. Minion Man Mark. We're not funny as hell. Uh, I said, it is a long time friend of mine. That, that's my nickname. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Kind of looks like Bon Jovi and Bruce Jenner had a baby, doesn't it? <laughs> and you better be talking about the Bruce Jenner in the Olympics and kind of know what the fuck that thing is now. And a great big fuck you to ESPN for giving him the Arthur Ashe Award for Curling. But what? What did he do? What the fuck did he do? He got in the car wreck and killed the woman. Notice I said car wreck and not accident? That was no accident. He was looking for parts. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get worse than that. All these fucking celebrities are losing their goddamn minds. Everybody's so surprised. Jared, Jared turned out to be a pedophile. Big shot. Come on. When was the first time you saw Jared? What was he doing? He was on TV making a commercial, bragging about how proud he was that he could finally get into small pants. <laughs> and now he's in jail and he gained 30 pounds. 30 pounds in jail. So much for the theory that there ain't no calories in cum. <laughs> or you're gonna grow to be like he ate some free pack of day, bitch? They're passing him around like a blunt. Oh, he's a Char I'm a Charlie Sheen. He's the fucking Johnny Appleseed of AIDS now, passing that shit around. And they're gonna give him another TV show. They should call it Two and a Half Years to Live. <laughs> That's what I love about playing a black club. <laughs> you guys will keep it real. Black folk, you say exactly what the fuck is on your mind. Sometimes you boo me. Sometimes you throw shit at me. Sometimes you tell me I'm gonna get paid and I don't. <laughs> and I know we said when that's gonna happen. As soon as I got upstage, the dude the bus me says, Yo, let me holler at you, dog. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and it always starts out with the same sentence. You see, what had happened was, oh, hell no. What had happened ain't shit gonna have happened, not what had happened. But well, one thing I will not get, this stage right here is the Underground Railroad for a white comic. Because black folks will never pull that shit I get in the white clubs. A lot of clubs won't book me. I got love for J. Anthony Brown. He's shown me love since the minute I walk in this club. But the white clubs, that's the damn truth. I don't know if I ever would have been that cool if I'd have been born black and white guy would have walked into my club and that's just real talk. Because the white clubs tell me, we can't book you. You do a lot of racist material. And they're right. And I'm always picking on the same race. The only one there is. The human race. The rest of us are all cultures and I make fun of every one of them. So if my words offend you, pretend like I'm rapping. <laughs> so let me see what I'm working with here. White people make some noise. <laughs> Come on, a couple of snowflakes in here. Stand up, all right? Come on. There we go. I mean, right, but we're outnumbered in this case. You know that. Now, see, this is how they feel when they go to court. <laughs> They were trying to get Rihanna fired from being the spokesmodel for cover girl makeup because she went back with Chris Brown. Think about that. If you decide to go back with a boyfriend that is regularly beating the shit out of you, what better product for you to endorse than makeup? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rihanna. I guess you can't tell right now that one of my eyes is full shut. So with cover girl makeup, I painted on this eyeball. And now NFL Housewives. <laughs> Not politically correct. It's all this fucking limousine. Look, first of all, white people that are here, would you please give them a round of applause? Really, okay? That's the damn truth because these are white people that really do spend some time hanging out with black folks. 
instead of just saying, well, some of my best friends are African Americans. I've been hearing this shit for 20 years. I've been playing in black gloves. I really want to come to your show sometime. I really want to see your show. As soon as I get in the directions, it's a wrap. They ain't coming. Go to Grand Show, make a run on Washington, don't wear red. They ain't coming to that fucking show. Liberal white people shit, they think PC is what's going to fix racism and prejudice. Never has, never will. Because racism and prejudice.